Hello everyone, it's Brian, and I'm going to get back on this whole alphabet thread. The alphabet challenge that was started by Jacob or Jacob, depending on your preference and possibly your geographical location. I think it's all the way up to G or H, and I've only done A and B, so in this video I'm going to combine C and D together into one video. And maybe I won't say too much about these bands as I usually do. So, um... As with the first two videos, I'm going to use only CDs, so no vinyl, and I think all of these I don't actually have on vinyl anyway, and I also picked things which were a little maybe off the beaten path, so or maybe underrepresented, underrepresented, and so because of that, I'm in C, you'd logically expect me to show Leonard Cohen and Bruce Coburn and possibly John Cale, for example, uh, even Johnny Cash, but I'm not going to do that. Nor am I going to choose any Bob Dylan for the D because, you know, despite having, you know, a whole rack of CDs from him, I'm going to leave that out. So let's start with uh, C and choose uh, a band from Sweden. This is The Concretes. And this is their first record, self-titled from 2003. Well, it was released in 2003 in Sweden, 2004 everywhere else. And um, they're from Stockholm. So it's an indie pop record. I think the... Original lineup was possibly all female. I know the lead singer was, and at least two others were. I'm not 100% sure on that, but the original lead singer is now gone, and they went through several lineup changes. I know nothing about this band after this record. I've only heard this, you know, I've had this in my collection for a while, but I haven't played it that often, so. But I remember it being really cool. <laughs> and uh, that's all I'm going to say, because I don't know too much about them, but I like what I've heard, and I don't know what they sound like now, or even if they're still a thing. Here is the CD, this is the back, and I think they're great. And this was made in New York, so there you go. Uh, number two <clears throat> is a Canadian outfit known as City and Color, which is really a project from one guy called Dallas Green. Dallas Green was a founding member of a band called Alexis on Fire, a uh, hardcore, post-hardcore band from one or the other. I don't know if it's hardcore or post-hardcore from St. Catharines, Ontario, and um, so he's from St. Catharines, Ontario, too, and, uh, you know, I don't know too much about City and Colors. This is the only one I have, but I've loved everything I heard from them, because I have watched some songs on YouTube and whatnot. It has a CD and a DVD in here, so we have CD and DVD, and um, I guess the difference between his solo project, the City and Color, and Alexis on Fire is that, uh, you know, this has some elements of post-hardcore, I, I guess you'd say, but it's more of a, an acoustic approach. By the way, I heard someone pronounce Alexis on Fire as Alex is on Fire, and I've confirmed that that is not correct. It's Alexis on Fire. So this is actually pretty cool. It's a live recording, and uh, actually, I, I'd recommend it. I think it's pretty cool. Number three is another Canadian artist from the Arts and Crafts record label called The Constantines. And they are, this is their fourth record called Kensington Heights from 2008. They're a Canadian rock band. You might call them indie rock. I'm not sure which is the best definition. The CD is in here, and this folds out this way, this way, <laughs> here, and here, which is pretty cool. And if you're paying attention, you might already know what you see on the other side, which is some kind of airplane. And I, again, I really love this band. Uh, it's the only one I have of them from them, though, for some reason. And the CD's just a plain, very boring-looking CD. And um, when, on one tour, they opened for the Hold Steady as the opening act, which I think is pretty cool. Next one under C is uh, a band called Cyber Zen Sound Edg Engine, uh, Honor Thy My Mistakes. And I believe this is from um, 2000, the year 2000. So... There's really not a lot of information on the internet from, about them. There's no Wikipedia entry. The, the Discogs entry is very uh, limited. But I believe they're from Houston. This is their second release, and it's really like an odds and sods. It's not really a full album, but it has some demos. There's two demo versions, uh, two unreleased tracks, and three pre-mastering mixes. But I think it's really interesting. It's got a bit of ambient. It's got a bit of electronic, experimental feel to it. Here is the... CD and the song track listing. And again, there's no vocals as far as I remember. I'm pretty sure there's not. So 
That's not bad, though. Now, the next thing, the last one for the C uh, grouping will be familiar to you if you are a hardcore Robert Fripp fan or maybe even a King Crimson fan because this is a band that formed out of the Guitar Craft program. This is the California Guitar Trio. And if you're a Fripp fan, you'll probably know that he, I think it still happens, this is still, uh, uh, he runs a Guitar Craft program in which he uses something he calls New Standard Tuning and he trains people on his guitar method, which is very interesting. And this, the people in this band, the three people met during a Guitar Craft workshop and formed a band to continue experimenting in that, um, that kind of style. This is called Yamanashi Blues. They were formed in, um, the band was formed in LA in 1991. This came out in 1993, it's their second record. And it's a really interesting record because um, the sound they achieve is quite interesting. So they cover a lot of, <coughs> they have some original recordings and some covers. So for example, they cover some Bach pieces. And when you're listening, you think, yeah, this really sounds like Bach. It's really incredible. There's a cover of Walk, Don't Run that was made popular by the Ventures. There's some original recordings. There's a cover of, um, of Sonny Rollins' track. So very, very interesting. I saw this band <coughs> when they were opening for King Crimson in Toronto in 1993. So uh, that was very cool. It wasn't, no. Was it 93? might have been 95. So maybe later. But anyway, really cool. There's the... Uh, inside and of course if you're also a Fripp fan you'll know that he had an, his own uh, group groups covered circle centering on guitar craft as well which maybe will come up later so that's it for C for D I'll move on to this one called from a band called download and this album is called effector this is a skinny puppy side project there are two members here who were in skinny puppy Kevin Key and Phil Weston and in fact inside is a an ad for a skinny puppy, an ad for skinny puppy, and but this doesn't sound anything like skinny puppy. It doesn't have that harsh industrial sound. It's more electronic, electronica, and I think it's really great. It comes in this blue case. There's the CD and the back of it. So really cool music. This came out in the year 2000, and I believe it was their seventh release. Really excellent, excellent music. And then a band from Toronto. Death from Above 1979, which is a duet. And I think every Death from Above record features this image or something like this image with these two guys and these giant proboscis like <laughs> noses. <laughs> I don't know what you call this, which is kind of funny. This is called You're a Woman, I'm a Machine. This is from 2004. And let me just open this up. It's information there. And yeah, here we go. So a pretty cool band. You, I guess you were, if you were to say what they sounded like, you'd say punk rock, dance rock, noise rock, hard rock maybe. A really interesting group. And I think they're up to four releases now. I might be wrong on that, but I think so. Now um, we have a band from Montreal. Oh, and I shouldn't mention that as I was pulling this off, I realized I chose all Canadian bands for D. This is The Deers, and this is Gang of Losers from 2006. This particular edition comes in this um, case with this booklet and a CD that's in this sleeve that's pretty much impossible to get in or out. But they're like an indie rock, psych rock band. And this was actually pretty good, a pretty good recording. Uh, I don't listen to them as much as I thought I did. because <laughs> you know, I was trying to remember the songs and I was like drawing a blank because I haven't listened to this in a long time. But it's actually not bad. I probably should listen to it more often. I have some other things from them on... CD as well, and um, yeah, this is 2000, their third recording, third record from 2006. And then, here's a band called Do, Make, Say, Think. They're also a Toronto band, and they apparently took their name from a schoolroom that they used to rehearse in. They were those words written on the wall, and they decided to make it their name. Um, they were formed in 1995. This came out in 1999, and there is um, a die-cut sleeve here. And so what we have are these inserts with some credits and bits of art. And I think you'd call this, I think they're described as instrumental post-rock. This is just self-titled, this record. The CD is just in this sleeve here. Nothing special, but it's just a white uh, CD. There was a record, I think their fourth or possibly fifth, where they did have vocals, but I don't think it worked very well, and they reverted to just um, um, 
instruments after that and um yeah, I do have some other material on, on vinyl, but this is yeah, I have everything on CD, and I think they're actually really good. They're on the Constellation record record label, which it was one of my favorite record labels. Maybe my favorite Canadian record label is Constellation Records. They have, um, you know, Godspeed You Black Emperor, um, Silver Mount Zion, things like that. Really cool label. And lastly, a debut record from a guy called Kevin Drew, and this is... Broken Social Scene presents Kevin Drew, Spirit If, and they call it Broken Social Scene present. Broken Social Scene presents because Kevin Drew is, in fact, a member of Broken Social Scene and was a founding member. And um, he, they just released it on their, on the Arts and Crafts label and called it Broken Social or Broken Social Scene presents. Here are the tracks, and this one also has an interesting fold out. And that's it. There's the CD. And this has a lot of guest stars on it. First, let me just say that I think this record is as, at least as good as anything that Broken Social Scene did. I think it's fantastic. And so people who appear on here are Jason Collette. If you know Broken Social Scene, you're going to recognize some of these names. Brendan Canning, Amy Milan, Feist, Emily Haynes, Andrew Whiteman, and a bunch of other people. Uh, even Tom Cochran appears on one of these tracks as a backup singer. There are a lot of people listed here on the uh, credits, but this is a really great record. I think it's uh, just fantastic. Um, it says these are a collection of recordings between January 25 and February 2007. So yeah, great. Love that record. And that takes me to the end of, well, it doesn't take me to the end of these. It takes me to D, and I'll probably combine E and F next time. And uh, I'll see you later. I don't know when. I'll see you later.